All right, well, I think I might have got it fixed. So, it wasn't too hard to get the front apart. Uh, maybe I didn't actually have to do all that after all. Carburetor just has two nuts. There's a bolt in the cover here. And then all this uh, air filter, all that stuff comes off. Just a few bolts around this cover, and that cover comes off. Now, the problem is this shroud over the, uh, you know, whatever you want to call that, the generator unit. <coughs> I've got the screws uh, loose on it now. There's one screw on the bottom over here, another screw on the bottom here, and then the other screw. There's actually, uh, you can kind of see there's a little dimple here. There was a piece of plastic right here and a screw. And the screw backed out and hit the back of the rotor. So then it made the whole thing stop and then it kind of jammed in there. Uh, it was out to like its last couple threads and then made the thing uh, stop. So I don't know if it actually did any damage to the back of the uh, rotor here because there's magnets you can't really see them very good but there's magnets on the back side I think it just hit that uh, rotor right there and it, you know smarted up but it didn't actually hurt anything although uh, so what I did I cut this little plastic off and uh, I'm not sure where it went it's lying around here somewhere there it is okay so here's the piece that I cut off so it was in here like this, and then the bolt holds this cover, this whole plastic cover up against the uh, motor right there. At any rate, so I cut it, and then I could flip it over, and then on this side, I got a, a little, actually I was able to use the big one. I had to use a small one. I've got a short uh, hacksaw with a little handle thing on it, which I had to use, but I just used the big hacksaw and cut the bolt part way up I was able to just slide this thing out slightly cut the bolt and then I was able to get the bolt out of there and then unscrew the uh, rest of the threads that were in here with just a little piece sticking out got that out so now there's a bunch of shavings and of course there's magnets down there so I don't want to move it but the rotor is free the motor is free so I'm sure it'll start working after I get it all back together so I just got to wrap it back up and uh, crank it up See if it works. All right.